Okay, now I'm back. Now what you're looking at is Windows 8 Consumer Preview, but I turned it into a black edition. I actually took the Windows 8 Pre Extreme, like the backdrop pictures, and I put everything the same the way you see it. I'll explain some things in a second. That was a fake Windows 8, but this is an actual beta test and build of Windows 8 but I decided to turn it into a black edition just to show you that it's fully manipulable you can hack it to anything you want with certain softwares I even have VirtualBox in here very good software VLC player YouTube downloader I even took the DVD maker out of my Windows Vista actually I took it out of Windows Vista black edition V2 that was a hack edition of Vista. And I have an Ultra ISO. I have Power ISO. And I have Movie Maker from Vista. It was also in Windows XP. But it did away with it in Windows 7. You had to re-download it. Sucks. That's my camera software. This is my screen recorder. Now, I even have Google Earth. I have A Shampoo Virtual Girl. Uh-uh. But anyway. Here's my webcam. Now, anyway, remember when people redid their laptops with Windows 7 that upgraded from Vista, they couldn't get their cameras to work. All they had to do was go back to the laptop's manufacturer site and download the Vista driver for the camera. It would actually work in the Windows 7. Guess what? It also works in the Windows 8 too. And I even have Microsoft Office Word 2007, but also as a black edition. You ever seen Microsoft Office Word look like this? You remember with blue borders. How about black borders, ladies and gentlemen? There you go. Now you see my mouse on the screen over here? That's also from the pre-extreme edition fake Windows 8. I took that cursor. I also know how to manipulate the file systems and do f more further tweaks. And H E L L O. Hello. It does work, but I'm not going to save my project or nothing. Even change the sound files and everything on here. From I actually took the sound, the WAV files from Windows 7 Black Edition the 700 beta build that was available in 2009 I took pieces of different other hacked black edition operating systems and I came up with this concoction right here you have rocket dock and this is all my apps up here this is a software to generate people people's WEP and WPA2 web keys to get their passwords and also you have VLC play up here just to prove to you my Windows Movie Maker works, I'll open it up just for a second. Ta-da! Now if I want to burn a DVD, here's the DVD Maker from Vista. You can make a DVD too if you wanted to. And also, my best software is right here. Ultra ISO. Some people are stunad and don't know what an image file is. When you download it, it's actually it can be an operating system. A .iso image file is Microsoft, and a .dmg image file is an Apple operating system image file. This you take an image file, like if you for say here go here's here's my here's an image file right here. You open it up in the software, bloop and then you just actually burn a CD U, bootable UDF DVD now for, without further ado it even talks speech recognition go to text to speech you have three voices here's Microsoft David this is a new male gender you have selected Microsoft David desktop English United States as the computer's default voice and you even have you have English. You have selected Microsoft Zero Desktop, English, United States, 
as the computer's default voice. Now you want to hear a British accent. Here you go. You have selected Microsoft Hazel Desktop English, Great Britain, as the computer's default voice. Now if you think that's something... You have selected Microsoft... That's enough of that. If you think, of, you think that's something, here's Windows 7 in the box. It's, a, it's an app utility to find all the other hidden things in this Windows 8. It worked for Windows 7. It's also backwards compatible to Vista. And it will work in the consumer previews. The developer, the consumer, and the release preview. Yes, they even have a release preview of Windows 8 that just came out. But anyway, without further ado, here we go. Rockaway Park, New York. Hmm, am I there? I don't know. But anyway, see these apps right here? I took these gadgets, actually, out of my Windows Vista Black Edition V2 Final. And I added them in here. I further, like I said, manipulated the operating system. And, um, actually, I can even go on the web and everything, yada yada, open up a web page. It'll run a little slow. No, actually, it's going good. There you go, YouTube. I mean, Google. YouTube is the best classroom in the world, ladies and gentlemen. And without further ado, I'm going to... Here's my system shortcut, just to give you an idea. There you go. Windows Edition. Windows 8 Consumer Black Edition. 2012. Hmm, how did that happen? Manufacturer, Computer Guru, Incorporated, Acer, Aspire, that's my model of my laptop, fully hacked. Hmm, I wonder who did that. I even put a black edition, you know, bitmap picture in the background to trick it. And here we go, phone number for support number, 1-800-USE-YOUR-IMAGINATION, people. And you'd be surprised what you can do. Never undermine yourself. Always try. Support hours. No support hours. And Windows is activated. I tweaked the crap out of it. If you think I'm bluffing, look over here in my lower right hand corner. Windows 8 Consumer Black Edition 2012. Evaluation hacked copy build 8250 now you think that's something I'm gonna I'm gonna flip your lid in a second here's a software called Yodem it was the first beta testing of desk space it only allowed you to go left and right to rotate like a cube I put the Mozilla Firefox Nebula in the background sweet and you can rotate the different desktops for desktops this way almost similar to Ubuntu's Compass 3D Fusion which I happen to like Linux very much and if you think that's something here's a hacked version of desk space this software you have to pay for but I put a cracked a cracked folder there you go you think that's sweet look at the nice beautiful backgrounds I can make Windows 8 Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, rotate like a freaking cube. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't get any better than this. This is pretty cool. Now, without further ado, like I said, all it takes is a little imagination. That's all it takes. Here's some nice games. I actually go to, um, just to prove to you, that this is an actual Windows 8. If you think I'm bluffing, I'll go to Personalize, I'll go to Control Panel from here, I'll go to Accounts. Now if I go over here, this is where you would change your accounts with your apps and everything. Personalize, I put that background picture, Start Screen, you can change the, you know, the different backgrounds. You can change it like that you can use plain black or you could even change the colors the color band itself this was my default I, I can make it purple if I wanted to I mean you know like I said use your imagination folks you'd be surprised if you study a little bit harder instead of watching dumb 
rap music videos, stupid music videos ain't gonna learn you nothing. Well, I learned how to be my own pioneer. And you wanna see a really cool video game? Let me show you something sweet. Here's the arrow keys, get back over here. It's a nice pinball game. I hope I have enough time to post this video. Microsoft Studios, Zen Studios. Here's a nice pinball. This is a nice pinball game, three dimensional. It's loading. I forgot how to play, but you know. Look at the background. I mean, I am not bluffing Windows 8 all the way. I even have a, a release preview of Windows 8, 8400 build. I have one in Cantonese Chinese and I have one in Arabic. It looks like a mirror reflection of the whole entire operating system in Arabic. Uh, you go measure noon in the afternoon. Now, now that told me that ain't a nice killer pinball machine. But anyway, thanks for watching, and keep always keep an open mind with things, and you'll learn. Thanks for watching. This is the computer repair guru, A.K.A. Hacker. Hope you enjoy.